everybody. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie Marshall and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello sunshine. I hope that you are all having an amazing day. because we are going to be talking about planning. This is one of my favorite parts of school, you guys. I'm not even kidding. I love the planning phase of everything. Almost more than I do of actually doing the actual work. Do you, do you get me? Do you understand what I mean? Like the planning phase is just so much fun. So I am going to show you guys some of my techniques and strategies and share some tips that have helped me along the way. I used to, you know, write everything down on a planner, but I have long since moved away from the traditional stationary planner. As an example, just think about if you were going to write something down, and if you didn't have a planner or anything to write with, but you only had your phone, you would put it in your notes section on your phone, and you would eventually have to transfer it to your planner. And I felt like, that was what was stopping me from being productive because every time I got home, I would sort of have two different to-do lists, the one on my calendar and then the one on my phone. So something that I have done to sort of integrate both of these is using Google Calendar and then a combination of creating a final to-do list, especially when things are getting crazy and hectic and stressful. And I really need to nail and drill into like what's most important. You know what I mean? So I'll do that on sticky notes or pieces of paper and then I'll stick it up on my wherever. On your wall, your mirror, your above your head on your walls. I mean honestly there's nothing stopping you from just plashing sticky notes all over your room. But I found it a pretty effective strategy. Whenever I write things down it really does help me figure out okay what do I need to focus on? If you just have an entire list of to do's and you don't sort of categorize them in what's most important, you're going to end up sort of doing the things that you want to do and, not, and then the hardest, most difficult tasks will be sort of pushed away. So what I found is that if you don't do sort of a combination of having a master to-do list and then sort of another to-do list that I use sticky notes for this one, where you just write down a couple of the most important ones and you star the most important ones on the top and it's sort of like in order of like priority. Like I need to get this done first or I need to get this done last type of a thing. And I always try to go for the hardest thing first, just to knock that out of the way so that I don't have to worry about it as I'm finishing the other easy things, which are most likely going to be more pleasurable after I finish the whole difficult task. So I'm going to be specifically talking about what it's like planning for my life right now, which is sort of hectic and crazy. I'm going to use a sample of classes that I've had in the past or I'm currently having, and I'm just gonna put them on Google Calendar as if I haven't done anything yet, just to sort of walk you through the process to show you how easy and effective it is. So usually what I do is I'll go to a printer or a library, just whatever is closest to you, and print out whatever it is that you are going to be putting on your Google Calendar. And what you can do is then have a physical copy of that, as well as a digital copy, which I find is very, very helpful. So you can keep the physical copy in a folder and you can always reference it whenever you need to. But when it comes to just checking things really quickly, seeing what you need to do all in one place, that is where Google Calendar comes in. So what I do is I go to the library, I will download the syllabus onto my laptop and then I will go and press print and then type in all my shenanigans. I will go to the printer and then swipe the card, go and find my, you know, my, then I'll find the print job and I'll print that 
and then after it's done printing, I'll staple it. And then now we're going to start talking about Google Calendar. So that is when I flip to the syllabus page where it talks about the schedule for the entire quarter which is very helpful, usually professors include this, but at the very least, you should have the due dates of when assignments, projects, exams, and finals are. So just keep those dates in mind or have those handy. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go on a Google Calendar, you're going to start putting in everything. So first, I always start off with when are your classes starting? Like what day are what time of day are your classes? That is always the first thing that I put into my calendar, just sort of as a baseline, foundation, nothing can happen during this time because I'm gonna be in class type of a thing. You get my drift? So then after that, that is usually then when I will put in my work schedule or any activities that I know are going to demand my time. So that for me includes rowing, it includes my applied analytics club, it also includes some other spontaneous random activities that I'm gonna be doing with friends and whatnot, and also my jobs. So after all of that is created, then I will then go into the whole entire syllabus. I'll look at one thing that's due to the other and see what's included in that. So if like a homework assignment is due or a case study or a case write-up, I will put that in my calendar on the day it's due. But to take it a step further, I always delegate time to get those assignments done. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes those dates come up super quick and you sort of need a reminder or Sometimes you just need a chunk of allotted time to be able to get things done. So that's why I always will do, I always say something like, read case studies X, Y, Z on Friday. Write case study write up on Saturday for two hours. And then it's gonna be due on Monday at 1.30 p.m. or something along the lines of that. And what's fun about Google Calendar is that you can color code things. So whenever, thing, whenever things are due or whenever I have an exam or a final or a quiz, I will always put it in red because that sort of shows me, you know, alert, alert, make sure that you're ready for whatever it is due or whatever you're going to be taking an exam on. So a couple nice things about Google Calendar is, and also this is not sponsored, but these are just the reasons why I like Google Calendar is because instead of having to manually write in every single, you know, thing that you're gonna have to do each week, if it's a recurring event, you can just tell Google Calendar to repeat it every single week or every single day on Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday or for the entire week or for every other day or every other week or yearly, honestly. It's so flexible, so customizable. That's personally why I like it a lot and it's just been very useful and helped me be very strategic and successful in planning everything that I need to do in a week, in a day, in a month, in a year. Let's see. Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. If I did miss anything, no, I don't think I did. And then for sticky notes, what I always do is I just write down, you know, this morning, if I, it's in the morning and I just really want to write something down that I need to do today, instead of just putting it on Google Calendar, I will write down like th today, this morning, or and then I'll just write down the things that are most important at the top and then going down. And usually what I do to add a little nice touch is to write a couple things at the bottom to sort of relax my soul such as relax, breathe, be calm, don't worry, you got this, God's with you, etc, etc, etc. Or even a Bible verse sometimes. Honestly, be creative, have fun with it, have that be your little, you know, morning routine where you can just sort of write things to yourself. And what's fun is that you can keep these and later down the road look back and sort of see all the things that you were up to when you were in high school, college, or whatever career path you're on right now. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I, 
I hope this video gave you some ideas or some insight or some tips to help you plan a little bit more effectively and better this upcoming year than this school year. So I hope you all have an amazing day. Sending you lots of peace, love, and happiness, my friends. Alrighty, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.